Okay, let's start this, <laughs> this one over again. Yeah. So um, we'll take an acid chloride to an amide. Okay, so it's the same mechanism that you know from before. Okay, but remember, um, this one is going to make uh, HCl. So let's uh, get it going. So I'm going to erase. So we've got a secondary amine here. Okay. We've got our acid chloride. All this secondary amine. Acid chloride. It's going to make a tertiary amine. So remember, just like last time, <coughs> chlorine takes positive uh, or takes negative ch charge away from that positive um, center, that electrophilic carbon. So that nitrogen, it wants to donate those electrons so bad already, you know. So it sees that positive, it's going to attack. Okay. So it's again the same mechanism as when the Sodium methoxide attack. So remember, this is what we've been saying. I don't know if we've formally written it down on any of these things, but that's an sp2 center. Got to go from the sp2 to the sp3, which is what we're about to do here. our sp3 center, tetrahedral intermediate. That nitrogen still has its proton on it. So what's going to happen now? What's going to happen, guys? Somebody tell me. Um, the electrons go back down and yeah. create that little okay. bond okay. and throw that chlorine away. What he's saying, right? <laughs> I was trying to uh, Which one's going to... Yes, can do. Which one's going to leave? The chlorine. But it's actually questionable which one will leave because mm -hmm. this is a protonated amine, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty good leaving group too. But if that happened, it would just go back this way. And then it would start the reaction again. Okay? So the only way to promote the reaction to go forward is to have the chlorine be the leaving group. So remember, it went from an S2 to an sp3, back to an sp2. Okay, so that's what it's doing now. Are we done? No. No, because we can't have that charge still on there. So what's going to happen? The chlorine is going to remove that proton. Yeah. Putting those electrons back there. That's going to give us a product. So hopefully, again, I, I said this a few times already while we've been doing this, but I hope you guys can see that all of these kind of ester formation, amide formation, all of those, they're almost the same mechanism, right? So this one you got to watch. If you put excess of the secondary amine in there, that will um, uh, 
take the uh, pH higher, okay? This, obviously the HDL is going to make your pH low, so if you've got a sensitive molecule, you're going to destroy it, so you've got to watch out. If you put excess amine in there, that will alleviate that problem. That's our product. Okay. Is there any questions about that one?